Good morning, friends, and happy Saturday. So, Brian is racing today, and he is going to be gone all day long, and my plan pretty much was just going to stay home, and I was just going to do some laundry and clean up around the house and just, you know, hang out at home. And uh, about 9.30, I was going to just go jump in the shower and just kind of get myself ready for the day and just start cleaning. Um, I was going to try to clean like the guest bedrooms. I needed to do some laundry uh, and just all the normal things that you do around the house. And then as soon as I was getting up to go take a shower, my dad called. And he said, hey girl, what you doing? And I said, um, nothing really. I, said, I was about ready to just kind of jump in the shower I said and just kind of clean up around the house and he's like oh he's like well your mom and I are headed to Scottsboro do you want to meet us and I said sure and um, they're going to the unclaimed baggage place in Scottsboro and um, I've been there before not a huge fan of the place I find it to just be kind of like a big goodwill store type of thing um, and I was there, I don't know, I think I went, maybe like the first year that we moved here, I think I went. Um, anyway, uh, or maybe I went last year. I don't know, nonetheless, I, I went one time and I shared it with you guys. Um, I will put a link to that video in the description box below. Maybe put a, a, a card up here at the top. You guys can go watch that if you want to. But um, he wanted to know if I wanted to meet them out there and then go grab lunch. And I said, well... I said, I think I might. I said, uh, really didn't have anything going on today. Brian's racing and I just, you know, wasn't sure if I was gonna leave the house or if I just wanted to stay home. Well, my dad called and asked and I said, sure. So I'm gonna go spend some time with my mom and dad today, which should be fun. So I thought I would take you guys along and uh, share with you guys unclaimed baggage. Um, this is a, unclaimed baggage is a place where like they go to the airports and people who don't pick up their stuff, this is where it ends up, is unclaimed baggage. This, this has been shared on Oprah before, like years ago, um, and it's like the only store in the world, I think, or America, um, where you can come get other people's baggage <laughs> that they have left behind on an airplane. So um, we're going to head to Scottsboro. It takes me about 40 minutes or so to get there. Um, and uh, we're going to go tool around unclaimed baggage and visit with my parents and have lunch. I'm hoping that we can get into Payne's Found Shop. It's kind of like a 50s little old tiny uh, little restaurant. They've got milkshakes, hamburgers, and stuff like that. Um, I obviously have to be careful with what I eat when I go there. Um, so yeah, I'm just hoping that we can get into the place and it's not too busy. So uh, yeah, if you guys are excited to hang out with me today and my mom and dad and go to Unclaimed Baggage, definitely stick around because I'll share some stuff from, from my day there. So let's head on out. the unclaimed baggage and I called my dad because I just saw their vehicle. So I called my dad to make sure that they were inside. He goes, yes, and so my aunt and uncle are here as well. So that's a fun day as well. I thought it was just gonna be my mom and dad, but nice surprise, my aunt and uncle are here too. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go on in. Oh yeah, and by the way, my mom doesn't know that it was coming. But look here, all the baggage. Shh, I'm gonna go sneak up on my mom. 
Let's go sneak up on my mom. Let's see how she acts. Oh yeah, that's very just, very much just like it. Yeah, yeah, that's so funny. What do you guys think? A little bit lighter than that. How I think. cute is this hat? It's cute. It's very cute. <laughs> this is really cute. Mm -hmm. I love it. Is that navy blue? Well, don't ask me because I bought oh. a shirt from Cracker Barrel and I thought it was navy blue, and I got home and it was actually black. Oh, I, it looks navy blue. I think it's black. Hi. <laughs> what are you? Look at this. This is Joe and Jeff. They oh, okay. <laughs> I was looking at hats. There's my aunt. So what, what color do you think that? Navy blue? I wanted to see what this was. Oh, yeah, $69 for that. Mm. That's where Dad is. See that hat over there in the corner, up on the wall? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. I was going to take a picture and tell you. Yes, the one that I lost, yeah. Someone found your hat and they brought it up here. Yeah. No, I ordered another one. Oh, did you? Yeah. I hope it wasn't They're $15. Not too bad. Not too bad, I just like my hats. I just think they're fun. Guy was look at this hat I found. It says, "Here you live today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy." That's a Disney hat because that's what that's the plaque that they have in front of um, when you when you walk into Walt Disney World. Uh, yeah, I love that plaque. So cool. They have like a Prada wallet in there. They want $325 for that thing. What? And then they have like Louis Vuittons, which is $265, which is ridiculous. See, that's what I hate about that. Well, I'm not paying $265 for a wallet here. That's a Louis Vuitton or the Prada. Mm -hmm. See the Prada one? Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so now that we are all like paid up and ready to go, I got a hat and then I got a pair of like really soft pajama bottoms for Brian. Um, and now we are headed down here to go eat at Payne's Soda Shop? Payne's Photo Fountain? Photo Photo Foda Fountain? <laughs> Payne's Soda Shop or Soda Fountain Shop or something like that? I think my Uncle Joe turned down the wrong road, but anyway. His ways may have taken him a whole different way. Tonight, I'm gonna park right here. Because it's just like right there. See the big, right there. So let's go. It's all hot. Do you want any chips or anything? What do you get? Look at my mom got peanut butter fudge, and my aunt got butter pecan, and my uncle got a chocolate sundae. They're right there, daddies. A small glass of milk. <laughs> And I got my chocolate shake. Let's see how it tastes. Mm, I've had it before. Good. Mm. Mm. So good. Can't take you anywhere, Dad. You're so popular. Alrighty, guys. So that was my little afternoon with my family. Um, we ate at Payne's Fountain Shop or Payne's Soda Shop or something like that in Scottsboro. It is such a cute little place and their shakes are amazing. Um, I got a Reuben and they actually have gluten-free bread. So I was able to get a Reuben on gluten-free bread. So I was very, very happy about that. So, um, and I was very, very, again, careful with the waitress. And I said, please, please, please make sure that you let them know that this is a gluten-free sandwich. So, um, she said we would we definitely will and I said thank you so much so um, and then we got a milkshake and I'm sorry that's probably blowing in that thingy um, we got a milkshake and then um, we said goodbyes and uh, now I'm heading home I'll be home in about 30 minutes so um, not far at all I think my parents probably have about a maybe an hour drive I would say hour yeah because it's 30 minutes from here to my house so they got an hour drive so yeah not too bad they take the back roads so my dad's done this a hundred times so anyway but that is it so i will probably see you guys once i get back home good morning friends and happy 
Sunday. Uh, today, Brian and I, we first thing we did this morning was went to Lowe's and got a few things that we needed for the house. Brian wanted to get some more of those sorry, sprinkler heads. And we went to breakfast because when we got to Lowe's, it wasn't open yet. I thought oh, I thought Lowe's opened at like seven. We were there at like 7.30. So we ended up going to get breakfast and then going back to Lowe's and getting the things that we needed. Um, today though, uh, Brian was supposed to be at a race today, but because it got rained out yesterday, it's probably gonna get rained out again today, even though it's full sun outside right now and not a cloud in the sky, it's supposed to rain later on this evening. We shall see. Um, but we decided that since he is not racing today, today was a good day to clean the garage. So that's what we are doing today. Um, we also had went to Lowe's to get um, waters because we do the big bottled water, which is right there by my car. And when we got to Lowe's, they were all out of the waters so we had to bring those back home and even though Walmart does have those y'all know how I feel about Walmart so <laughs> not exactly sure if I'm gonna wait till Lowe's get some in or if I'll go to Walmart and get the waters um, but anyway so yeah we are gonna be clean oh and Brian's doing his his um, sprinklers right now he got more of his little sprinkler heads that he wanted to get he wanted to get like taller ones to add to the ones that we have because they're a little short he wanted to get taller ones that way they squirt out a little bit further um, and then so we're gonna be working on the garage today getting it cleaned up straightened up and we bought a shelf so we can hang the shelf up and Brian can put all of his like trophies and stuff up and this little box that y'all are sitting on is my like blue paper towels that I use when I use my um, glass cleaner. Um, I use the blue paper towels because they are the best to use for when you're cleaning glass and mirrors and stuff. They don't leave streaks. So that is the um, the plan for today. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull it tape this thing. And then while we were at Lowe's, Lowe's, um, no cashiers at Lowe's, self-checkout only. So um, thank goodness we only had a few items and although we did have this shelf with us, um, as we were like leaving and I got my receipt or whatever from the register, there was a young man standing there who's monitoring the, like the self-checkout area and I looked at him and I said, so where do I need to leave my address? I said, so they can send me my paycheck because I just cashed myself out. Lowe's now too. What? <laughs> I'm like, this is crazy. So, I mean, obviously we can, you know, shop at Publix or something, but um, they don't have shelving at Publix. So it's like ridiculousness. I don't know what's happening. I think it's a combination of people not wanting to show up for work or work and, a cam and, and the, they're just taking away the regular cashiers and making everybody do self-checkout. Well, that's not gonna cut it, but whatever. I digress. What are we gonna do? Um, I guess I'm just gonna start ordering my groceries and going to pick up. That's what I'm gonna have to start doing. So, um, even though I love the satisfaction of going in and getting my stuff because I like to walk around and like take my time and whatever, but not so much Walmart, but yeah. We'll see if Target starts doing that. I just hate the fact that they don't value customers enough to keep cashiers on hand to check you out at the register like normal. Like we're value your customers and I think right now Publix still values customers not so much sure about everybody else I haven't been to Target in a minute maybe we need to go Target this week and check it out challenge let's do it <laughs> alrighty so um, while Brian is working on the oh geez I don't know how he's gonna hang this stuff up with this shelf being in the way let me show you guys what we're dealing with today alrighty so here is what we're dealing with this is Brian's little area over here and he just it just drives me crazy to see it like this. So I told them we're cleaning it. This black shelf we're getting, we're hanging up up there. So yeah, he just, he has himself a mess here. So it just makes me crazy when I pull in and I see it. <sighs> so typical guy though, just doesn't care about his stuff. And that's like all of his little RC stuff that he has. And yeah, 
so this is what we're dealing with. So I get to clean off this bench, which I'm not cleaning it off because he can just make room to climb up there and hang that shelf up and we'll be good. So that's what we're gonna end up doing because it's too hot to clean that shelf or clean everything off the bench just to put everything back when he could just make room. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so whew, that was a chore. We got her done though. Brian's shelf is hung up. It looks really, really nice. And we cleaned up this area. His little bench over there looks nice. This looks a little bit better. That's not exactly how I like it, but I got his shelf. We got a shelf hung up and that's all that really matters right now. And his bench looks nice and clean. And uh, this area is nice and open. So now I can like walk through here when I need to, but yeah. So I just got in the shower. Brian just got in the shower and we are done for the day. And it is, I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? One o'clock. We're gonna grab some lunch, we're gonna go upstairs, and we're gonna chill. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Post some pictures on the gram so other people know that.